In today's video, we're going to be looking at Foodmina, cost of living, housing and rent, and a few stuffs you should know before coming to Foodmina. Let's get into it. Hi guys, my name is Kenzie and welcome back to my channel. If you are an old or returning subscriber, I'm glad to have you back. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and don't forget to turn on your post notification button so you get notified anytime I post a new video. So today we're going to be talking about Footmina and particular things I feel you should know before coming. Okay, so the first thing I will talk about is the cost of living. On average, a student spends almost 30,000 in two weeks or even more in Mina. Yeah, I know it's crazy. The thing is, a lot of people tend to believe that Mina is in the north, but it's not. I actually thought so too until I got there. And I felt like because it's in the north, it will be cheap. And But it's not in the north. Mina is not central. They basically have low supply and other foodstuffs and a lot of things they have to import into the state or you know just get them from neighboring states and stuff like that so the cost of living is relatively very high another thing we need to consider is the fact that food mina is located at two different spots the first being boso and the second being kidankwano so kidankwano has the engineering department and other departments as well but in Bozo you have life science and all the physics and the chemistry and stuff like that so it's divided into two different locations the housing in Bozo is relatively low as compared to that of GK although it depends on your needs and what you're looking to find there are houses that range from 65 and upward to 135 160 250 in both so but it depends on what you're looking to get or what your budget is but the housing in gidan kwano is very high because it's all just student area so all the landlords are just looking to you know make some more money so the housing is quite high the thing with gk gidan kwano is the fact that if your house is closer to the school gate it's more expensive than if it's further away but in Gidan Kwano you have houses ranging from 85 to 150 to 270 and so on it depends on what you can afford and what you're looking to get but if you want to live comfortably in Gidan Kwano then it's best you put your budget at a range of about 120 or maybe 150 there about just so you could have good space and good access to water and light for school fees i can actually say because i think it changes and it's not constant but it's within the range of 40 to 60 there about I can't really say. Okay, moving on to a few things I feel you should know before coming to Mina. I already stated some, which is the cost of living. You should know that Mina is not cheap. It's not in the north. It's not central. They barely have food. They basically don't have food in Mina, so it's not cheap. The cost of living is relatively high. And the second thing you need to know is that the hygiene and the weather is very very detrimental to your health so you have to be prepared if you're somebody that easily gets sick or somebody that has sensitive skin and stuff like that make sure you have all that you need to help you stay healthy get your your disinfectants get your marks and get whatever it is that you know can help you you know maintain good health because there's going to be a bulk load of work and if you're going through something and you're not healthy it's going to be difficult for you. another thing i wish i knew before going to food mina is the fact that hostels are not easily given out as you might think i know when you go to your portal you're going to see hostel accommodation and be like ah when the hostels are up you just get that's not how it works. I if somebody like, that's hoping to stay in the hostels, please have a plan B for in case you don't get in so that you don't get stranded. Something else you would like to note is that the number of 
boys or male students is higher than that of female students like the ratio is the gap is so much um so you're going to meet a lot more of male students than you will feel male students. and if you're coming from a single sex school i know how this can be because i attended one as well at some point in my secondary school so you have to try to adjust so that you don't get uncomfortable another thing you would like to note is that the people in me now the lecturers as well everybody is very religious they're very religious so you have to take note of this and if you're somebody that maybe you don't have clothes that are corporate or casual or something that is really just calm and cool you know you can't dress like like you're going to a party you mean, and go to school it doesn't work you need to always dress right and you need to always be on time because there's always a large crowd in front of the school gates every morning so there's a, a few things I think you need to know before coming to Futmina and there are things I feel like if I knew before coming or even before signing up I would have been more prepared okay guys that is it for today's video I hope you had some good information and it was helpful and please don't forget to subscribe and please turn on your post notification button so that you get notified anytime i post a new video and you know leave your comments i remain kenzie and i'll see you in my next video